What's up traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol RCL for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Massive gap down from today's session, largely due to the impacts of the variants coming out on the sickness if you will and their impacts on travel restrictions. RCL being a travel company obviously feeling the effects of that. So let's start by pointing out the uh, gap down, right? We would want to know that it starts filling up and over today's high of day at 71.50. We'll call it for round numbers sake up to about 77.11. I'm not saying it has to fill all in one day. I'm just pointing out if we take out 71.50, there's really no structure in here providing resistance on our way higher into about 77.11. Scrunching, or actually let's zoom out. Let's go to like a two-year weekly uh, and zoom in a little bit here. Uh, what you'll notice is that we're coming in hot and heavy to kind of right into this area of support. The reason I picked this 67.85, 68 whole dollar is because of this gap on the weekly time frame chart. You'll notice that led to a bit of a move higher, pulled back, led to a move higher, pulled back, led to a move higher all off of this kind of shelf right here. What I would point out about this and the reason I bring it up is because whenever you see a 100% retracement of a given move, it's very rare that you just immediately continue on through. Generally speaking, you get a little bit of a bounce, a little bit of chance for the sellers to catch their breath essentially, and then it will go lower. Now, don't get me wrong, with the severity of the catalyst floating around out there right now, it may not pay attention to that rule. It may not uh, respect that rule rather. So just be aware of that. But generally speaking, we would look for some dead cat bounce here. And also take a look at how this aligns from the 30 minute perspective. I mean, if we just go back to the daily, uh, we won't see this reflected in the candlestick, but technically speaking, because today was a half day with the Black Friday Thanksgiving thing going on here, we actually did get a little bit of lift into the afternoon. Now, granted on basically non-existent volume, but it is starting to get that lift as we just mentioned. So what I would want to do is know where that stands from a Fibonacci perspective. So coming in with the fibs from low to high or high to low rather, what you'll notice is we haven't quite made it into the 38.2. That would be the number to kind of be watching out for here. We don't have any clean structure from the intraday activity. So we're going to go based on the fibs. 38.2 is the first one, then the 61.8 is the next one. So here we go. Let's remove that. And bearish consolidation is going to happen here, although we are getting some lift, right? It's still bearish consolidation. Breakdown of that 68 eventually takes us lower. We'll fish for a daily support in a second here. If we can break back higher and then get acceptance here, that to me would start to be, you know, the signs that we start filling the gap, correct? And the other thing I would point out is that in CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines, they actually printed a daily hammer candle and looks much more attractive for the gap fill play. So I would probably look at that before RCL if the move is going to be higher. Let's say some news comes out over the course of the weekend where, you know, pressures have eased, the variant may not be as severe as we think, and things are all fine and dandy, right? In that case, I would probably go with CCL over RCL for the gap fill play. Uh, that's, you know, my two cents with the two. Anyways, that's what we're looking at from a technical level perspective, 70 and then the 69 quarter to the downside. Let's fish for that daily support before I wrap up the video here. Uh, so we just kind of know what the next stop would be. And I would point this one out at 64.71. That's sort of your next major area to pay attention to from the daily. Then we'll go out one more time to the weekly again, just to see where uh, the next area is. And I would point this out at 53.44, call it 53.50. Prior area of resistance led to a breakout back test held, led to that gap higher here. So that really is the next number to be paying attention to on a larger downdraft underneath 64.71. That's really going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out CCL, the sister company, well, not sister company, but in the same space type company looks much more attractive. Uh, and we covered it on the channel. So check that out. All of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.